Alright, what is up my friends? Welcome to another episode of Your Deck Live, a show where I play Your Deck live on stream, Diothar. Diothar loves them racks. No racks here today, but Shrieking Affliction. Diothar wants no cards in opponent's hand at all times. And I, I do have a, pre a preview card actually. It'll be up on CoolStuffInc.com later this week. Uh, I wrote it last night. Preview card, it's green. That's all I'll give you. So, what do we got here? We're playing some Modern. And we got a rat-based discard deck. Skull Clamp, thanks three sub. Appreciate that. We got some rats. Of course, the good rat in uh, in modern is Pack Rat. You know, this is the card that uh, only real payoff for playing a lot of rats in our deck. Um, and these decks kind of existed like way back when. It's funny. Uh, hashtag story time. My first ever major event I played in was U.S. Nationals 2005. And I played a grinder, and I qualified via, like, the last chance grinder. It's five-round single limb, winner, winner qualifies for nationals. I was playing mono red. I played against an Aether Vial rat deck. This is standard, like, you know, a million years ago, 2005. And we went to sudden death in game three, and I mulliganed to a shock and killed my opponent. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so, so we're ratting some people. We get some cool cards here. So we have... Obviously, Pack Rat's great. Uh, Dark Confidant, not a rat, but still pretty great. We have kind of a discard package. We got Nizumi Short Fang. Raise your hand in chat. Remember this card. This card's sweet. Uh, two meta for a 1 1. Tap 2. Opponent discards. Opponent's hand is empty. You flip it. And I had, unfortunately, I have no way to flip this on Magic Online to show you what it is. But um, it's a 3 3. That's basically just the rack. Uh, at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep. That player loses one life for each card fewer than three in their hand. So, pretty good on, on the flip skis. We got our usual black discard spells, four Inquisition, two Thoughtseize, two Fatal Push, two Dismember, Typhoid Rats, Ravenous Rats, Burglar Rats. A lot of discard, obviously. Uh, Aether Vial to make it all happen. One of the best things about playing Mono Black, of course, is the lands you get to play. Uh, Castle Lockthwain, unreal good. Mutavault, excellent. We also get to play Swarm Yard, which is a colorless land that regenerates target insect, rat, spider, or squirrel. Squirrel! That's pretty cool. A couple Herb Warg. And um, that's basically the deck. We got a little kind of a, kind of a grindy, sort of discard, Aether Vial, creature -y theme deck. And uh, Aether Vial's... Kind of cool. We have card, we have card draw and dark confidant. It's cool to draw step the rats if they're hell bent. Uh, being able to vial in a pack rat and then activate a pack rat in the same turn is pretty cool. So pretty nice, pretty nice. My fears with this deck are that our overall power level is a little too low. Um, Ravenous rats is a relic of the past. Um, this card was playable in like standard and stuff a long, long, long time ago. Uh, creatures and threats have gotten a lot better uh, over the last, you know, two decades. So I'm concerned we have a few too many 1-1s one for two in our deck, um, and that we're going to be basically overpowered. Um, Dark Hop on it is good, though. Short Fang is good. We'll see We'll see how those uh, how those fears play out. Cyborg's got two dresses, two Thought Seizes when you need that extra discard. Three copies of Noxious Grasp. Uh, both Oko, Thief of Crowns, and Ren and Six seem really bad for us. So I like this card a lot. Two Piper of the Swarm. This is a card that I added to the board. I tend to uh, to update and tweak the Your Deck Live lists a little bit. And this card seems really awesome against creature decks. Um, it's possible this card should be, should be in the main deck. Uh, two mana make a token is not that bad. A 1-3 body is a little more durable than the bodies we already have. And then... Sacrificing three crap, crapper rats to steal a creature is pretty good. So it's possible this card should be, just be in the main deck. But pretty cool card in Piper of the Swarm. Uh, four Ley Lines, because if our opponent's playing Dredge and we're making them discard cards, that's going to go bad for us. And then two Pith Needles for Planeswalkers and stuff like that. So definitely concerns with the overall power level of the deck. Um, but looks pretty sweet. Looks pretty fun. We will see. And um, we'll see. So... Again, this is Your Deck Live, a show where I play Your Deck Live on stream. Diothar, huge thanks to Diothar. Diothar is putting John through college here. Diothar, Diothar is a repeat viewer, a repeat viewer, always submits fun decks to us. And um, we have a, a streak of getting a little unlucky with Diothar's decks. 
and running a little bad, but that's okay. I'm, I'm kind of feeling it today. It is the year of the rat. Uh, 2019, Happy New Year, everyone. If you want to know how to get your deck on Your Deck Live, hop on over to my website, jimdavismtg.com. Hit the I Play Your Deck tab on the top, and all the information is right here. You can see the queue of all the decks coming up, uh, how much it costs, what do you do, how to submit, how to donate, logistics, scheduling, all here. jimdavismtg.com to see your deck on Your Deck Live. Otherwise, let's battle. 2019, 2020, what year is it? I don't know what year it is. <laughs> Yesterday, John, John's my nine-year-old, John was like, wait, what day is it? We're like, it's New Year's Eve, bud. He's like, tomorrow's 2020? We're like, yeah. You don't know what day it is? He's like, since Christmas, I just have no idea. And we're like, yeah, John, that, that makes sense. You know, the the week between, uh, between New Year's and Christmas basically doesn't exist. It's sort of like the purge. You kind of just do whatever you want, and it kind of gets totally forgotten about and oh yeah, oh yeah, modern. All right. We're playing modern. So, my buddy Matt actually, who's a good friend of mine, uh, one of my one of my best oldest friends. Uh, he 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 writes, but doesn't really do anything with it. And uh, he wrote a really cool uh, little like kind of like essay, I guess, uh, about the year, about the week between Christmas and New Year's. It was really really good, but he never finished it. Obviously, he's never he never finishes anything. I should get him to finish something because it was really, really good. All right, folks, check out my sponsors. CoolStuffInc.com, your number one source for all your game shopping needs. Check it out. CoolStuffInc.com, promo code Jim5. My articles and my videos are on there. Article Monday, video Friday, and um, I have a preview. I believe it's going to go up on tomorrow, I think. Uh, preview card for the new set. It's exciting. It's a, pretty, it's a pretty cool card, pretty weird card, but a pretty powerful card also. Definitely uh, a tricky one. It's green. That's all I'm going to give you. You're going to like that. CoolStuffInc.com. Look for my articles and go buy some stuff. I'll see you all. CoolStuffInc.com. Let's get started here. We've got rats on rats. We are on the draw. And, and Diothar has me. We're going to be choosing to be, to be on the draw, except in fast matchups. So it is not a goblin. It is green. So we got some rats. We got a bob. We got a dismember. Oh, God. Soul Scar Mage. Well, this is uh, probably not great for us. Our Dark Confidant Dismember Hand, but Mutavolt. All right, well, Typhoid Rats, get in there, my friend. Don't Lava Dart me. Don't Lava Dart me. That's not how I want to start 2020, It's getting Lava Darted. Power level on Typhoid Rats, not super high, but it is a decent blocker against ground creatures. Crash Through. Bring it. No, no one wants to give me a Goblin Preview card. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a very entitled person. But uh, I was a little low-key mad when the, they reprinted Goblin Ring Raider and Watsy did not give me the preview. You know? Just saying. All right. So, Double Soul Scar Mage. Crash through. I mean, I guess we just, like, Bob here. Our, the, the converted mana cost of our deck is quite low. So, we pack rat, we have a 2-2. Two, two. It's not really great. Um, this dismember is not going to be great for us either. Yeah, I think we just bob here. It's, I mean, it's probably going to die. We don't really care about that. If this bob can trade one for one effectively, I'm pretty happy. So, Like, if they bolt the bob, I think I'm happy with that. I think I'm happy with that. Okay. Opponent's playing Runaway Steamkin. That's good for us. That card's very slow. It also gives us a nice dismember target. We only have three cards left. Um, so... They're saying go. All right. We're 20 life. How about that? Bobby, don't, don't hurt me. Aether Vial, right on time, sure. And another Typhoid Rats. All right. I mean, 
I'm just gonna fire in the vial. I mean, we might want to kill the steamkin. I don't know if I want to pay. I want to pay some life to do it. I want to get vial down for sure. I want to get that going immediately. Um. Yeah, I kind of think we just leave uh leave man up for dismember, and we just kill steamkin if they start going nuts with it. We'll take two if we have to. I don't really want to, but we're honestly also kind of building a board here. We can buy one of rats next turn. We can double pack rat next turn. So we'd start doing stuff. Uh, it's pretty nice. Manamorphose. All right. But you're probably going to want to kill the Steamkin on the next trigger so they can't get the uh, the red man off of it. Yeah, no discard yet. No discard yet. Lava Spike targeting me. Alright, so... I'm not really happy to shock myself here, but we're going to do it. Wait, what? Oh. They have, like, a Lava Dart here. We are probably dead. Lava Dart is quite good against us. Oh, we don't have Brutalities on our sideboard. That's probably an oversight. Collective Brutality is, like, right in this deck's wheelhouse, and this deck seems pretty soft to red decks, so... Alright, we're just blocking them both. Really, really easy double block here. That was a bet. We're at 11 and only have one card left? Alright. I mean, ship it. Rat it up. Ratatouille. Yeah, definitely. We don't have any, that's, that's an oversight on my part. When I when I went over the deck was, I should have should have realized we want, we need that need that card in sideboard. Like, seems much better than like, honestly, we should not play duress. We cut like a a needle and two duress for three brutalities. Is it a rat deck? It most certainly is, my friend. Your deck live, a show where I play your deck live on stream. This is Diothar's rat discard deck. Monastery Suspir. They got nothing. They're flooded. They're dead. And we're going to turn the corner pretty quick here, I think. Any rat. That's a rat. So we can uh, make a rat, short fang, they're 20. So make a rat, short fang, attack for 10. Which is pretty good. Attack skis. Pack rat is uh, is certainly good when you have more rats in your deck, because it scales really, really well. Yes, we're gonna animate Muni Vault also. I just didn't count the extra rat. Ah! We have two pipers in the board. It could, it could definitely be a main deck card. Again, I think there's a few too many uh, ravenous rat effects in the deck. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Ratcha. The year of the rat. 2020. Game one. Wow, we beat a, we beat a, a red deck. They drew five lands, which is a lot of lands for a, a privacy deck. But they also somehow just didn't draw a way to kill Typhoid Rat. <laughs> Their deck full of lava spike, I mean, uh, of lightning bolts and lava darts, couldn't kill a one-one death toucher, so that's pretty sweet. Um, all right, we're taking out the thought seizes. I think pipers may be fine here. I want these duresses too. I think. I think we have to leave dark confidant. Maybe we don't want piper. It's just, it's just like a one three. But that's not very good. So just take swap, swap uh, thoughtsies for duress. We can cast. We can just cast this member for three if we have to. You know. Um, yeah, we. There should be brutalities in this board for sure. That's 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 an oversight on my part. Oversight on my part. Um, it's fine. I mean, our mana base is pretty pain free, which is nice. I mean, it's totally pain free. 
Uh, Dark Confidant, like, obviously if it dies, it dies. But our deck is literally all ones and twos and lands. I mean, the average converted mana cost of our deck must be, like, around one. Because we have all these lands, so... Seems good. Off to a great start. Definitely seems like a hard matchup, but we won that first game, which is sweet. I should probably just uh, just drop and stop streaming, right? I could say I'm undefeated on stream in 2020. Just retire. It's all over. I'm retiring. Undefeated. Uh, we found the discard part of a deck. We found it. That's better. And keep this. Um, let me ship here. Probably a swamp. We should go discard into Dark Confidant. With so many twos and ones being monocolored, why twenty one lands? Isn't it twenty lands? We're we're, we're playing a lot of utility lands. Meta Vault and um, Swarm Yard are like half a land in this deck. So, oh god, Plague Engineer. That's gonna be the worst. Not looking forward to that. Yeah, I'm gonna ship a land. We're on the draw. Duress. I think Aegis is just better than Duress. I guess they have another creature. They do. They have, uh oh, they have Kozlik's Return, and Lava Dart, and Lightning Bolt. They be killing my creatures this game. Alright, I mean, we're taking the Steamkin. We don't have a way to kill it right now, so... That's pretty awkward. This game, they can kill things. This game, they can kill things. Lava Dart's kind of rude. Yeah, so you can see here, the Muta Muta Vault's like half a land, unfortunately. Um, Lava Darts are a real pain. Lightning Bolt K return. Let me just duress them. Lava Dart makes uh, Typhoid Rats look pretty embarrassing. Bedlam Reveler? That was a good draw. All right, so K return, Lava Dart, or Lightning Bolt. Um, unfortunately, Lava Dart kills everything right now. Lava Dart might as well be Lightning Bolt with flashback. And then K return... I mean, it's gonna kill stuff. It's gonna kill stuff. I guess it's pretty inefficient. It's gonna be hard to get any rats going with the K return available. I'm gonna take the... Godlux return. We're ahead on cards, so one for ones aren't the worst at the moment. Yeah, obviously, I mean, Lava Dart will come up eventually. It's not going to come up yet, but Dismember. Take two to kill this Soul Scar Mage. I think we do that. Anything we play is just going to die, and they're just going to get in for more damage anyway. So they'll, they'll get it for two no matter what. So this is pretty, pretty fair here. This Reveler looming is kind of a, uh, kind of troublesome. We can't really get rid of that one. Well, I guess if you trust some, uh, some, it's funny. It's like ravenous rats would be preferable to pack rats right now, because they can kill everything. So like if everything's a two for one, it's still fine. So would actually like to draw a ravenous rat effect or two. <laughs> they cast light up a stage off of my. Oh my god! They cast two light up stages. They cast Light Up a Stage off of my paid life on Dismember. Brutal. And now they have a bunch of uh, spells in their graveyard. They have a Braid, Dismember, Lava Dart. So I just shouldn't cast anything. Because all I have is creatures. Alright. Uh, this is a tough game here. We got a tough game here. Moment of Craving is, is pretty bad. It's not really on a modern power level. Monastery, Sphere. Alright. No, we want to leave up this member. This is exactly why. 
I imagine they're at a Lavadar me because they have three cards here they can't even cast, so. Not the best exchange again, but they have one, two, three, four, four spells in the graveyard for Bet Reveler. They have lost Dismember and a Braid, so their Light of Sages are basically blank, which is kind of cool. Alright, they have a Lava Dart in their hand and a Lava Dart in the graveyard. Uh, I mean, I, I guess we're pack ratting. I mean, Dark Hoffanaunt. Yeah, I guess we'll Bob. We can try and get, like, the rats going. We draw land, maybe. Yeah. Lava darts all day. Land. Burglar rat. I'll take that. Again, they have Reveler in their hand, which is really bad for us because they can just refill. But can't do too much about it. Let's see what they discard here. Good morning, everyone. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. If you're just sitting in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. We're playing some Your Deck Live, a show where I play Your Deck Live on stream. This is Diothar's Rat Tribal Deck. A little discard action. It's our first match. We're up a game. A lot of Your Deck Lives today. We got some Pioneer to play later. We got a double dip later. It's going to be a long one. It's going to be a long one here on New Year's Day. On New Year's Day. We will change back to ourselves. Alright, so Aether Vial is fine, I guess. The Prowess deck is more explosive than Burn, but a little more vulnerable to removal. Vial might let us kind of get going here. Um, I'm just going to say go. If we can, like, get a few rats into play for Pack Rat, um... Hmm. It's not bad either. Alright. We're trying to go somewhere. We are trying. And now our Pack Rat is, like, pretty decently sized. And we have two on-the-board pumps, ways to pump it. They have a bunch of lava darts, but we kind of want them to use them. I guess they have they sack lands and stuff. One, two, three, four, five. It's six spells in the graveyard for Reveler. Kozilix Return. Well, isn't that just the grossest? Alright. Probably could have figured out that they had that, but... And Bolt. Alright, so now they, now, they get, now they get the Revelers. God, imagine if we had some way to make them discard here. That'd be so sick. Can't fatal push a Bedlam Reveler, but uh, I I misclicked. I thought they were casting Reveler because they tapped two, and they were actually casting a Braid on my Aether Vial. Because they only have one card in hand. Alright, uh, I think we're dead this game. We can't kill the Reveler anyway. Fatal push does not do that. And they, have, they actually have multiple Lava Darts in the graveyard. Yeah, I don't think it matters what we do. Realistically. Um, I'm going to South Carolina on Friday. Flying down. I actually got a pretty great deal on a flight. Thanks to uh, my Sky Miles. Alright, we're just gonna make game. We're not we can't be the shrine the shrine either, so they just have double lava dart in the graveyard, so tough, tough game there, tough game. Um We kinda both got mana screw, but the presence of Lava Dart's just like invalidated every card in my deck. Lava Dart is pretty good against us. Um Maybe we do want Piper of a Swarm, which doesn't die to Lava Dart. Uh It's possible we want to lay one of the void. It's like I'm not really thrilled about it, but if we have a ley line in play, it just turns off their best card in Bedlam Reveler. 
while also making their lava darts not as bad. That's pretty pretty thin. That's pretty thin. Man, lava darts unreal against us. Plague Engineer is also going to be unreal against us. I'm not looking forward to playing as Plague Engineer. Um. We can't bring it out of the void. That's ridiculous. Um. I mean, Typhoid Rats is like pretty bad because like they just they just have lava dart and ways to kill it. At least the the ravenous rats get some value. Piper the Swarm can make some make some one ones. Buys the bolt. Let's bring in Pipers and cut like you got like the short fangs. This card is literally never gonna live. Let's try this. Yeah, Plague Engineer is so dumb. Imagine trying to play your fun tribal deck and getting crushed by Plague Engineer. And imagine them thinking that was a fun thing for Magic. Like this is this is a this is gonna make Magic a more fun game overall if the person you play as their tribal deck gets absolutely shit on in modern. Alright, we're, we're gonna play first. I think this hand is a little below the bar. Uh, on when it comes to power level. <laughs> this is actually going to be a sample hand of the week. <laughs> uh, we're going to mulligan this one. This hand is just not powerful enough. The second vial doesn't do anything in this deck either. We don't really have a lot of card draw, so... Alright, let's just give can bottom one of the vials. Alright, so we're going to keep this. Ship a vial. We have no untapped... Uh, Swamp for a castle, but we can still turn one vial, so. Hand of the year, 2020. Well, if they cast all their spells before blockers, uh, we can kill this thing. Oh, I'm sorry, we, we, that's a burglar rat, not a uh, typhoid rat, never mind. All right, it's obviously awkward with the castle here. Uh, we're taking a smack this turn for sure. Yeah, worst worst joke of 2019 is, let's reprint Ringleader and Matron and uh, into Modern, and then also print Plague Engineer too. Ah, got ya. Crash through. Mm. Hand of a decade. The Roaring Twenties. Fatal push. All right. I mean, this isn't like the worst. I think we just uh, give him the old burglar rat, and then we'll push something and try and end step Bob, I guess. If their hand is good, it seems very, very hard to win. Um, without, like, collective brutality or something like that. I think we're just blocking here. I should have blocked so spear. So if I cast this, I want to kill this Soul Scar Mage. Not that it matters. Nothing we have can live through damage anyway, so. It's interesting. I'm gonna kill this. I, I should have blocked the other way. I don't think it's gonna make any effect in the game at all, but the old burglar rat chump block for one. Gain one life. I don't think our Dark Confidant's gonna live, but I do like Dark Confidant a lot. I am a fan. Please don't lava dart me. Please. Lightning bolt. Alright, that's fine. 
Could be worse. Could be worse. Uh, we need a spell here of some kind. All right. So always no. No. We stop on two. That's not a bad draw. That's not a bad draw. Um. We just send the old mutavolt, honestly. Get to work. Get to work. Super dude, I haven't looked too close at the spoiler now. That might, might be my, my article this week, is looking at the spoiler. Cracking the canopy? All right. All right. Coming in, coming in. Nothing again, we're still casting this. Every life point matters when uh, we're trying to Dark Confidant and maybe Castle Lock the way and we flood a little bit here. My article should just be about episode nine of Star Wars. Um, that would be a long article. That'd be a long article. Nothing? Just cycle Metamorphos go? Man. Dark Confidant, I'm a little worried for you, my friend. I don't know if you're going to make it to our turn. No. Lava Dart, no. I don't know if we can beat Lava Dart. Realistically. Hey, we're trying again. Third time's a charm. I mean, they're just going to Lava Dart it. But I guess they're going to Lava Dart everything, so whatever. They want to sack this Islet, and we kill a Mountain. They have another Lava Dart? No. Nothing we play is ever going to live. All right, we're we're locked. We're Castle Locked winning. Maybe we'll hit a two drops play out Bile. Castle Locked win and Aether Vile is pretty nice. That's a pretty nice one, honestly. Being able to spend your mana to draw cards and Bile stuff in. God, they have double Lava Dart in the graveyard. Just casual, uh, you know, Locked winning against the Burn deck. No big deal. Did it. Did it. God, we're going off. They discard a mountain? Sure. Another castle? All right. Go get him, ravenous rats. The OG. The OG. Um, I guess I want to castle now, in case I draw, um, like a vial or something. <laughs> Wall B. Somehow doubt that's going to matter, but... Oh, I should actually held it in my hand. Oh, we're playing, we're playing, we're playing Pack Rat. Yeah, that was dumb. I should just held the vial. We're never going to put it in two creatures at once. I should be, I should hold the vial for Pack Rat. That's a mistake. I made an error. Swarm yard? Oh, man. All right. It's adorable. Castle Lockthwain is so good. Happy New Year, Plasma. I mean, they have five Lava Darts. It's not like it, you know, it's going to live, but we can burn a dart or two here, I suppose. Aether Vile Lockvain. Lock Aether Vile Castle Lockthwain is nice. That is nice. 
It's hard to play Lockthwain in a three-color deck, but it is pretty good. Definitely one of the most powerful cards of a set, honestly. It's just so good. Just such free value. Flood Insurance is awesome. They're not even attacking? Alright. Um, I guess we leave Vial on 1 and 2. Piper of the Swarm. Sure. I mean, 1, 2, 3, flip. 1, 2, 3, flip. I, I guess I just Vial this in. So I have more mana available to Mutavolt and Swarmyard. We are slowly killing ourselves here. And maybe I should have just gone to two of his vial. I can keep them both on two. We only have four one drops in our entire deck. Yeah, I should have just gone up. Another Swarmyard? Alright. And my rat is menace now. It's a menace to society. Um, we're going to leave it back on D, though. Lightning Bolt targeting Piper of the Swarm. Unfortunately, it's a human warlock, not a rat, so we cannot swarm yard it. They got two cards left in hand. Okay. Okay. Yeah, seriously. Why isn't this insect, rat, spider, squirrel, or warlock? You know? Alright, they're floating them at it and they're lava darting my ravenous rats. Um, I think that's fine, because we're going to try a Mutavault block with Swarm Yard. We can just dodge a Bedlam Reveler. I think we're in reasonable shape here. The problem is, like, we're not really building towards much. You know, we, we're not going to close this game out quickly. I guess Pack Rat would be nice, but... Like, if they have a Bolt here... Uh, this is actually fine. We, we, we get the block no matter what, so give him a swarm yard. Generate target squirrel. They have one dart in the bin and two cards in hand. Generate target squirrel. Done. All right, we're uh, we're holding the fort here, but we gotta make some forward progress. Uh, not gonna lie. All right, going up. Two and two. Draw another land. Man, we're really uh, we're really not doing too great here on the old land front. All right, let's uh, castle again, I guess. Typhoid rats. Obviously, I move, I move the vial to two. I draw typhoid rats. All right. Typhoid rats just gonna die to uh to lava dart, but that's fine. Gotta get out of our hand. and gotta get it out of the way anyway. So. We have double swarm yard too, so. Turn 10. Turn 10 against the mono red prowess deck. Here we are. We're ratting it up.
The problem is, if we regen the Death Toucher, it taps, and they get to hit us for four. And four is a lot. Especially because we're relying so hard on Castle Lockwin. Um, I'm pretty sure we just want to keep blocking and trying to stay alive. One red. Lava Dart. Targeting the rats. Alright, the rats is dead. Long live the rats. If three cards an end. Same play as last turn. Look at our mana base doing all this work. Our mana base is doing tons of work right now. Yeah, Brutality would have been great. That's a card that definitely has to be on the sideboard. They're going to abrade my Muta Vault. Alright, so we're generating a target Insect. Alright, we're going to 6. Um, it's not good for us. I think drawing Pack Rat here would be really, really good for us. Pack Rat. Going to four. Really, uh, really could use a non land here. We've already played our land for the turn. We can't play the Muta Vault. Where's exploration when you need it, you know? Oh, God. They're making mana with, with Steamkin. Oh, Lord. This can't be good for us. Oh, what are they doing? They're kickering Burst Lightning to kill us. <laughs> What's Castle in response? We draw... Land, land, land. Oh, yeah, obviously. God, you... Why couldn't you draw land there for more complaint equity? All right. That seems like a hard matchup, and there should definitely be brutalities on our board. Um, obviously, the Lava Dart aggressive deck with, with Lava Spike in it is going to be good against our Dark Confidant all 1-1 one, one deck. Um, I think if we drew better, we, we definitely could have won that game. Like, if we if this, if this pack rat came two or three turns earlier, we definitely could have won. So... The fact that we were even in that game is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, definitely need some some brutalities on the board. As an, as an oversight on my part. My magic online. So we're all one. That's okay. That's okay. We're playing Deothar's Rat Deck. Rat Discard here on Your Deck Live, a show where I play Your Deck Live on stream. Remember, folks, we got sponsors here on the stream, and they are awesome. Check out the Hex Holder. Brand new product. Holds your playmat. Holds four decks. Holds your Zibby. Holds your dice. Holds your everything. Light, easy, convenient. Bring it to an FNM near you. The Hex Holder. That's right. Check out the Hexholder.com. Check out the Hex. Check out the Hexholder.com. Buy me. Check it out. The Hexholder.com. Promo code Jim10. Also, ColosParalDesign.shop. I'm wearing a shirt today, right? Yes, attack you. Attack you. It's so soft and comfortable. It really is super soft and comfortable. I can't tell you how soft these shirts are. They're so nice. So nice. Check it out. Call us apparel that shop. Go buy your magic shirts. They're making me a shirt soon. Uh, I'll talk to them. It's been, I haven't talked to them in a bit. It's been the holidays and busy and stuff. So it's a new year. Time to get back to work. Let's check it out. The hex. No, I'm sorry. Call us apparel dot shop. Check it. Promo code Jim10. 10% 10 off of your order. Cardboard Live. See the deck on the overlay right now. That's Cardboard Live. Check them out. If you're a content creator, get involved with them, all right? It's going to be a big year 
for a cardboard live in 2020. I'm feeling it. Serious startup, serious awesome stuff. Improving magic on the internet for everyone. Diothar's got a hex holder and Diothar likes it. That's awesome. Where can you get a Zibby to put, put in your hex holder? Right here. Zibby partied way too hard last night. Zibby man. You gotta take it easy sometimes, you know? You party too hard. You party too hard. Also, check out bcwsupplies.com. Number one source for all your game shopping or game supply needs. bcwsupplies.com, the Elite 2 deck art sleeves. Best sleeves in the market. I've been using them for years. And they are durable. They shuffle amazing. Uh, I love them. Uh, I use the matte fronts. Gloss fronts are available too. They're cheap too. In cost, not in quality. Uh, you can buy a five pack on their website. With my promo code, it's like $6 for a hundred pack of sleeves. Buy the five pack, put it in your closet, and grab them when you need them. Don't waste $14 on a crap of, a, a crap, a pack of crappy katana sleeves at the Grand Prix. All right? Buy them in advance. Be smart. BCWsupplies.com. Check it out. Promo code Jim10. Let's go. Let's rat some people here. Can we do that? Get a little rat action going. Get some rats. Get some rats. Any, you know, anytime you got thoughts, he's in dark confidence. I'm feeling pretty good. How's the color matching package to package? I have never had an issue, and I I mix them fairly often. Um, I think I think it's quite good. Size matching is great too. I actually have a bunch to sleeve my cube in. I haven't gotten around to that yet, but elemental. Okay. Why are we not playing Plague Engineer? By the way, just gonna throw that out there. Yeah, our sideboard our sideboard needs, needs work. No Plague Engineer and no uh, brutality is definitely an oversight. Um, they put a uh, a Risen Reef on top. That's pretty bad for us, I think. Um. Unsettled Mariner, Thunderkin Awakener, Simeon Spirit Guide, Phantasmal Image. I mean, Mariner makes it annoying to make them discard cards. Yeah, we're going to ship the Mariner. They can turn to you Risen Reef. I mean, that's Risen Reef is really, really good against us. All right. Turn to Risen Reef off of Simeon Spirit Guide. Oof. All right. We, uh... Wish we had a Lava Dart. And they had a land. Right. Only have two cards left. Only have two cards left. So, it's kind of interesting here. Um, I would like to go Dark Confidant, but given that they have Risen Reef, and they're going to image it and just just draw a million cards, I think you want to just Pack Rat and try and kill them. Like, we have another Mute Vault, we have Typhoid Rats... Next year we can go rats and bob, or we can just go make a rat. The next year we can go make a rat, typhoid rat. Then we can go double double mutable. Why isn't this a small pox deck? Because we're playing creatures. Risen Reef. It's pretty interesting to me that they did not just phantasmal image the Risen Reef, which seems insanely good. I don't know why they wouldn't do that. And have two shots of drawing a land to play their Awakener anyway. Yeah, Lib Libo. I, I missed every Rangers goal in that game, but the first one. We watched most of the game, then left for, to drive home from uh, from uh, Nicole's mother's house. So when I got when I got home and saw it was seven five, I was like, oh wow. Spite bellows. That's pretty good. All right, well that can kill my poor pack rat here. 
fatal push. I guess we could like swarm yard. Man, now playing the muta vault kind of screws things up a little bit. I think we need to. Oh, I would like. To, I would like to kill risen reef also because we can't do that if we want to keep the pack rat alive. All right. Oh, they have spite bells, thunderkin awakener, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is uh this is not great, but all right. So we're gonna swarm yard. We're gonna kill Thunderkin. I guess we can block. Libo resub ten months. And the alerts aren't working. I tried to fix them briefly. It didn't work. I don't know what to do. And dazzle image. Uh, I think we need to kill the Thunderkin, because if they copy that and are able to spite Bellow every turn, we're in big trouble. They're probably going to copy Risen Reef, but, um, I can't risk this. Pack Rats, uh, it's okay. It's probably the best card in our deck. Yeah, they have a lot of Risen Reefs. Look at the card. I mean, they have effectively infinite cards in hand. Um, which is not good for us. Oh, Packrat Bible and Pioneer. Eh, it's alright. Packrat has a very flat power level. And it's sort of like here's Packrat's power level. If the power level of the format is here, it's good. If it's here, it's bad. There's no in between. It's not like you can make it that much better, you know? Chilled, one year resub, you awesome. Thanks so much. Uh, Thunderkin, we just can't win. We just can't beat Double, double Risen Reef. Yeah. Like, this is insane. Yeah, burglar rats doing it. All right, I think we're gonna go to the next game here. <laughs> yeah, I mean the power level pioneer is still pretty high though. So yeah, that's uh that was a shellacking. Uh, the card risen reef is very good against us. Plague engineer, where art thou? Um. Yeah. All right. Noxious Grasp kills some things, but not all things. I think I want Thoughtseize. I think picking apart their stuff is really important. Check out the two Ravenous Rats. And then I'm not going to bring in Noxious Grasp. Piper's not really worth it. They don't have anything worth stealing. Let's try that one again. That was a rough one. That was a pretty rough one. Rats, 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 rats. Your deck live. Modern Rat Discard for Diothar. Going first. Got a mulligan. Okay. This is reasonable. Um...
Opponent also mulligans to six. That's pretty nice. I think Typhoid Rats is our worst card here. Um, I do like that it curves with Pack Rat to actually kill our opponent, but they're just like not really an attacking deck. They're more of like a card advantage deck. So, and like Short Fang could you know could flip maybe because they mulliganed. I think Burglar Rat is reasonable. Burglar Rat's pretty bad. I just shut the Burglar Rat. I think the Burglar Rats are just too bad. Like it just it just the power level is just so unbelievably low on them. Put them all against the five. All right, Typhoid Rats, get them, buddy. Cavern Soul, Elemental, Aether Vial, sure. Muta Vaults, that's not bad. They probably want to get Short Fang going, because their hand's kind of small. We can Pack Rat later. We Pack Rat, we're just like locking ourselves into Pack Ratting, and I don't know if it's going to be fast enough. Alright, so they only have four cards in hand. You're drawn to five. White, blue. Ugh, oh, it's so annoying. The cards are really annoying. I guess we have a, a spare mana anyway. Oh, never mind. God! Ugh! So now this is a Thalia for all of our discard effects. This card's very... Unfortunately, our opponent's deck seems very good against Tars. They have four Unsettled Mariner and four Risen Reef, and both cards are unbelievable against us. Um, I mean, if I want a chance at nailing Risen Reef, we probably have just cast have to just have to just cast Thoughts easier. So, their hand is Lightning Skelemental. Lightning Skelemental. Okay. Well, Pack Rat was nice knowing you, I guess. Looks like they're of a discard deck, not us. Brutal. Brutal. We have Castle and Blight, thankfully, but like they actually have nothing else going on, and now we're gonna flip we're gonna flip the short fang, so Basilisk collar. And his life loss. Alright. That's the card, I guess. Flip Short Fang. They discard a third copy of Lightning Skelemental, and now we have Stab Whisker the Odious. A 3-3, and it racks him. Even though we're already at 12. So we're going to leave this Typhoid Rats back on D and rack him up. It is life loss. It is not damage. So for Basilisk Collar, unfortunately, it's not going to be uh, too useful. They take three, and they draw a card. We can Collar up the 3-3, uh, three, three, though. Can't view life. Deothar is pretty big on this Basilisk Collar. I, I am not too big on the Basilisk Collar, but we shall see. Um, I mean, any card that was relevant, they would just cast. They could Vile stuff into here, theoretically. I don't really want to, like, risk losing my Stab Whisker. I'm not sure what they could Vile in that actually matters, though. I could successfully block it, so we're just getting in. What do you got for me? What crazy elemental do you have for me here? Nothing? Alright, cool. 
They take three, we gain three. They take two off this stab whisker, the odious. Draw. They have two cards in hand now. Aether Vial. Alright, let's take a look. Let's take a little look see, you know? A little looky live. They have Aether Vial land. Alright, cool. So now we attack with both. So now we are threatening. Now when your pump ball gets a five, you're playing the discard deck. This feels nice. Seven, six, five. Oh, yeah. Taking them down. No Risen Reef. Good news. I guess Noxious Grasp does kill uh, the Mariner and the Risen Reef. I'm cutting the Basil Scholar. And... Honestly... Shrieking Affliction seems really hard to turn on against them if they're drawing cards. If things are going well, the problem with this card is that, like, if their hand's empty, we're probably already winning. And if their hand's not empty and we're losing, this card does nothing. I mean, what work did it do? It gained a six life. Was that worth a card? Like, not really. I don't know, Dio. I'm not big, I'm not, I'm not big on this basketball scholar. Happy New Year's, Richard. Happy New Year's, everyone. We got a round of uh, Mr. Destructoids in chat to celebrate New Year's. A little party, a little robot party. Can we do that? Um, I mean, realistically, what did it do that game? It gained six life. Is one mana gained six life worth a card? Really? You know, if it had been a better card, the game might have just ended, you know? Um, I'm going to cut one Affliction. We are on the the draw, so they're on the play, which is good for us, but... Yeah, if, if the rat dealt damage, it would have been cooler, but... What's up, Link? It's... I don't think Piper's good here. Um, this is slow, and, like, it's not like stealing any one of their things matters. We steal the Risen Reef, and then what, you know? Killing me, Smalls. Okay... Well, this is a very uh, discardy hand. Yeah, we're playing Pioneer all uh, all later. It's gonna be a long stream. All right, we're gonna keep. We're gonna ship. I guess Mutavault. Hope we can spike uh, the Risen Reef and just burglar rat them to death. Any changelings of his deck? I don't think so. They have... Oh my god, we can never win. They have Mariner Reef Reef. I think we gotta take Reef and just take Reef again next turn. Not 24 hour stream. Get out of here. But it's gonna be a long stream today. I got three year deck lives to do and one of them's a double dip. So we're gonna be on basically all day. Happy New Year. Yes, Basso's Collar looks nice on a 5-5 five, five pack rat. However, if you have a 5-5 five, five pack rat, it means you have lots of rats in play and you're probably already winning. So, alright. Ziggurat, Smoke Raider. This makes our life a little easier. Now we get to Thoughtseize and play a spell. Take the Risen Reef. They drew Vile, too. Man, this is great. Maybe there is a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. 
They have Aethervile, Unsettled Mariner, Sunbay Canyon. Oh, it's good to discard to make a rat? Sure, that is true. That is the uh, the allure of any uh, any card to pack rat deck. It doesn't matter how bad it is. Just discard it, make a rat. Oh my god, they drew Thunder Kenner, Rakener. All right, well, we're back to being able to not being able to win. Now they get the Rizzer Reef every turn. Tilt. Thanks, Richard. Appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think we're in trouble here. We got him to discard both Risen Reefs, but they drew a Thunderkin Awakener, which means they get him back every turn. You can't Leyline just for one card. That's just not how Leyline works. Like, we have other ways to kill this card. Uh, just none of them actually are here. The opportunity cost of putting Leyline of the Void in your deck is extremely high. Um, it doesn't actually do anything for your strategy. And if you ever draw it past turn zero, uh, you hate your life. So, opportunity cost extremely high. It also, it's also just a card you lose. So, Kraken Canopy in response to the uh, the old Shrieking Affliction. So no Shrieking Affliction damage. Favorite draw and after turn zero becomes a pack rat. Yeah, I mean, that's sure. All right, well, here's Risen Reef again. And uh, if there's a Nightmare card for our deck, it's probably Risen Reef. Regen target rat. Look at the card. Oh, please stop. Oh, now I can flicker with the Risen Reef and get it back permanently. <sighs> no. All right, we're going to the next match here, folks. Uh, we um, just can't do anything. <laughs> they just have Risen Reef over and over and over and over again. All right. We have no recourse. We have no Witch's Vengeance. We have no Damnation. We have no Plague Engineer. There's just no way to get back in a game like this. All right, so... I would say two pretty rough matchups to start. Um, the Elemental deck is like a fringe modern deck. It's not like great, but it is really good at just drawing cards. Um, but that is really good against us because we're trying to make our opponent discard cards. And uh, their main strategy is a counterpoint to our primary strategy, which is tough. So there's no chance we go 05. Not a chance. Um, I imagine it would be really good against decks like Valakit, or like, uh, the new Valakit deck with Oko. Decks that actually want to play lands and spells and not don't necessarily draw cards should be good for us. We'll see. Also decks that can't kill Dark Confidant. Um, Urza, maybe? I don't know. We'll find out. Just keep going. We'll just keep rolling here. Rat it up. Rat, 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 rat. Vile seems counterintuitive to our strategy. I think Vile's great in this deck. Um, we draw cards with Dark Confidant and Castle. I always wouldn't mind more Castles, because Castle Vile... So far, the things that I've liked from this deck are... The biggest thing I like is Castle Vile. Castle Vile is awesome. Being able to, to Castle and then Vile in the things that you draw is really, really cool. The Instant Speed discard part is minuscule, in my opinion. Yeah, you can do that, but... If you, if you have a vial and your opponent's already hellbent, you're probably already winning anyway. So, one of the important things to realize is you don't want to be, you don't want to be doing win more type things. Um, yes, you know the if the effect you're going for is good in games you're winning and bad in games you're losing, it's probably not the effect you're looking for. Again. 
Same reason why I don't like the uh, the collars on this deck, or the collar. Rat, rats, 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 rats. Anyone ever hear the car the the song "Rats and Rats and Rats for Candy" by the Blood Brothers? Raise your hand in chat if you heard that song before. I chose to go first. Oops, sorry. DFR wanted us on the draw against random opponents. That's my bad. That's probably the hardest thing to do in all of streaming is to choose to draw because you're so autopiloted to do it. Um, let me keep this though. Eh, maybe not. I feel like if his vial was another two drop, I would keep. The second vial is pretty bad, though. We don't really make use of the second vial too well. So we're not drawing that many cards. I'm going to mulligan. Right, well, sure, we'll keep this. We're going to ship uh, the Affliction. The Afflictions have not been very good. Feel like I made that song up? Uh, nope. I'm seeing some yeses. I'm not seeing some hands though. I gotta see hands to clearly delineate who uh, understands the song that I'm referencing. Rats and rats and rats for candy by the Blood Brothers. Urs is mine. All right. Don't like this, uh, oh, they're playing, they're playing Aldrazi? Alright, sure. Chalice of the Void on one. That's, like, kind of annoying, but... Kitty Man MTG! What's up, my friend? Appreciate the resub. I'm sorry the alerts aren't working. I don't know how to fix them. I tried to fix them, and they did not, not get fixed. Have I done a cover of that song? No. Alright. Let's draw a land or two. And no more one drops. Ever. That's a pack rat. Mm. Oh. We, uh, we go in here. Pack rat all day. Thought not seer. I thought not. So we draw a card. It's a Nizumi Short Fang. Interesting. So, yeah, we're just going to let the Thought Not Receive Resolve. Let's see what they take. We have four cards in hand. We can't activate Short Fang yet, so. I'm just going to pack rat it up. What you think of my rats, opponent? What song? Not a bad attack there, not a bad attack. Yeah, I agree. The The idea is not the worst, but the execution on the, the Kamigawa flip cards is pretty unappealing. It's very unesthetically pleasing. We draw Somp here. Oh, rats and rats for, rats for candy? No, it's not. It's awesome. The Blood Brothers are great. 
They are a. I can see people not liking them. They are a somewhat jarring band, but that song is dope. Warping Whale, my Nazumi Short Fang. Oh, I. Right. Uh, that's not a rat. It's not bad though. So, we're gonna say go. We could like attack and see if we if, if they're scared of a rat off a of vial. I mean, get like pumped twice with the mutavolts, but we're not gonna risk that. Oh boy. Endbringer? Uh, we can't really beat that card. What's well, always one damage effects, you know? We're trying to play some, some one toughness rats, and our opponent really wants to kill all the one toughness creatures. Alright, Bobby, help us out here. Dismember off the top, please. Pack rat? Okay. Swamp. Okay. Um, that's not the worst. It's not the worst. We need to make a rat and then a rat. Right. It's not the best. It's not the worst. I suppose if Endbringer is dealing one damage, it's not drawing cards, which is fair, so... Matter or Shaper, Power of Magic Card, Power of Magic Card. Alright, deal one to my Typhoid Rats. I think that's fine. Make a rat. I mean, Dark Alphonse fueling my, uh, my pack rat here, so that's pretty nice. We got some rats. We get to draw. Hopefully, we just draw any 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 rat, any rat, any rat. Two mana rat. God damn it. All right. Well, now I have an army of four fours. I mean, they could be six sixes. No, I can't. Maybe it could be five fives. Uh, yeah, we just wait one more turn, I think. We don't want to trade with, trade with the Thought Knot, because it's, that's just not good for us. Dual decks. Rats versus Eldrazi. I kind of like that. kind of like that. I mean, they're leaving Dark Confidant in play. That's pretty cool. Sorceress Spyglass. God damn it. Alright. Uh, that's pretty annoying. I imagine they're going to name Pack Rat, but... I mean, now we have an army of 6-6s six attacking next turn, so we should be okay. Alright, they have named Pack Rat with their Sorceress Spyglass, and they played Chalice the Void into their... Uh, or Exorcist Matter the Chalice the Void. Like a true Eldrazi Tron player. And they're leaving Dark Confidant in play. Oh, God, almost got him. Almost got him. That was a pretty good draw. So now we have a bunch of 7-7s. Seven -sevens. And we get to attack with everything. That's really good. Because they have to block at least three rats or they die. Target creature can't attack or block this turn. You got it. Attack with the rest of them. Pack rat all day. You did. So, you take 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You go to 1. I draw a card off Thought Not Seer. You draw a card off Matter of Shaper. You draw Urza's Mine. 
double it up. Don't draw... I mean, if they draw all his dust, we still have three meter vaults, so... No, there's seven sevens. I activate all, all the meter vaults. Draw a card. You got it. Third Earth is mine. You got it. Rats and rats and rats and rats and rats and rats. Game. Rats. Get a little pack rat hype here. Opponent's not playing Risen Reef. I am happy. I am a happy man. Alright, so they are playing Eldrazi stuff. Um, definitely want to cut down on one drops if possible because getting uh, getting Chalice is pretty bad. Honestly, Inquisition's not even that good against them. A lot of their better cards cost four or more. Zibby, it's the year of the rat. Yes, this feels like a, Pi a Piper matchup. I like that. I like Piper. We're on the draw. Hmm. I don't like these is afflictions very much. They feel pretty off plan. Like we we don't have enough discard to actually make this card good. Um. And it just, like, doesn't do anything. It's also a one-drop. I'm going to cut these. For, uh... I guess we're on the draw. It's like, things have to be going well for this card to win the game for us. I want the pushes. I think I want all the discard spells. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do this. Oh, you thirsty, bud? Good morning. Good morning, Zibby. How was your New Year's? I think... I think I want more creatures in this deck. Honestly. I want more creatures and more castle locked lanes. That's what I want. What do you think, Zibby? Nicole always makes fun of Zibby for how he drinks. How he, like, puts his hand up on the, uh... On the thing. Nicole's very mean. Punting ball against a six. God, snap the keep right there. Snap it. We got a rat. We got a meter vault. Pack rat all day. Chittering rats is kind of cool. Um, again, I, I have power level concerns, but... Alright, easy thoughts, these. Light them up. Their hand is... Endbringer. Matter Reshaper, Reality Smasher, two lands, no Eldrazi Temple, and not even close to, uh, not even close to Tron. I don't think there's any good changelings. If, uh, Unsettled Mariner is castable, maybe, but to take the Matter Reshaper, just the card that they can actually cast in a reasonable time frame. Ursus Tower, go. Sure. Muta Vault, sure. Rats. Oh my god, they're gonna turn th turn four Tron on us. Typhoid rats. Set up start setting up our uh, our ratage here. These rats are gonna be pretty big next turn. Waste. There is a one-drop black changeling. It is not a playable card, I don't think. All right, well, thought out's irrelevant because we don't need any uh, of the cards in our hand anymore, so. I think we're just uh, ratting up here. And I'm, I'm pretty happy trading rat for a thought knot here, I think. Or a rat for a thought knot. Yeah, I mean, they're just like, basically dead on board next turn, so. With a million Muta Vaults. Ghost Quarter... Uh, this is not good enough, my friend. You are dead. Make a rat, double mute a vault. Or just play a rat. 
Uh, I guess now I need a Vulcan attack. I don't have any math here, but I'm pretty sure they're just super dead. Pack rat all day. Do it, Doug. Do it, Doug. Attack you. Rats. Rats and rats for candy. The ninja cards are interesting, but fairly low powered. Um, our opponent's hand was pretty bad, but pack rats, pack rats tight. Uh, all right, so we're we're, we're one and two. J bro, team J bro. Morning stream for you, my friend. Were you up all night? Were you up all night? Let's go. Round four, Diothar's rat deck. Good job, Zibby. You're a good rat. If you haven't seen J-Bro's stream, J-Bro's the bomb. J-Bro's cube master. I challenged J-Bro to a cube off and I got crushed. I was a fool, but I like a challenge. Check out J-Bro's stream. And uh, good people. Good people. Let's go here. We're going to choose to draw. I remember this time. We're going to choose to draw. Oh my god. Yeah, I think choosing a draw is also incorrect. Not thinking about it, because like... Thinking about how, how bad I think the Shrieking Afflictions are, that's the only reason you want to choose to draw, I think. So, Zibi should count towards Pack Rat. Like, imagine, like, this hand's, like, on the play, a turn to Dark Confident might be cool. We, we got a mug in this hand, though, which is too bad. Oh my god. J-Bro, this is all your fault. We had a nice quiet New Year's, J-Bro. That was yours. But yes, if you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. If you haven't been here before, this is a show I do called Your Deck Live, a show where I play Your Deck live on stream. We're currently playing Diothar's Modern Rat Deck, which uh, Diothar submitted. And um, we give a little tweak to the deck to start, play it through five matches, then talk about the deck and rebuild it at the end to what I think is optimal. If you're interested in that, go to my, web, my website, jimdavismtg.com. Go to the I Play Your Deck tab, and all the information about that is right here. Your Deck Live. Mulliganing to, like, three here or something. All right. Well, I guess this is a hand. Uh, goodbye, Swamp. Mutavault. So we're on four cards and they're on seven and we're on the draw. <whistles> I think we're in trouble. Skull Scanters are just not very good. You know, the problem is it's fun to brew decks. That was a really good draw. It's fun to brew decks for modern. However, there is a certain power level bar you gotta cross. Modern's a very powerful format full of 16 years worth of very good magic cards. And your your cards gotta cross that bar, you know? That is the uh that is the concern. Alright, we're gonna ravenous rat and try and sneak in this dark confidant. Oh yeah, spell snare. Basically this job anyway. Field of ruin? Sure. Uh, thought sees. Thought sees you. Their hand is into the story. Snapcaster mage. Tassiger. Tassiger. Their hand's pretty bad, actually. Um, no answers to Dark Confidant currently. Into the story's got a long way to go. Tassiger is just a doofer. Um,. We're taking Snapcaster Major. Into the story, is, I, I have to have seven cards in my graveyard. Yeah, we're pretty far from that. All right. Pretty bad hand. Dark Confidant looking good for takeoff here. What's up, Destiny? Yep. Destroy target. Non basic land opponent controls. Yep. Yep. 
mountain. There's some sort of Grixis strategy. Interesting. Really hope they don't draw a Coligan's command and just kill my Dark Confidant. I did, they did not. All right. Worst Hassiger of all time. Love it. All right, Bobby. We mulligan to four of this game. Get me back into it. All right. If anyone can do it, it's you. I've seen better. I've seen better. Uh, so they have a bunch of crap in their hand. Sure. This is what I'm saying about the power level of these rats. Like, what is Ravenous Rats doing here? You know? Like, is it even having a positive effect on the game? It's just making them discard a card. You know? Like, I think we need to have... Ooh. This is spicy. What's up, Dan? Yeah, I think we Cuban this week, right? Or like, or next week. Uh, Gary said Andrew's going to be home. They discard a Mystic Sanctuary. So their hand is Tassiger into the story. Um, we're going to block this Tassiger with our kind of crappy rat here. We got to make the rat body worth more, you know? The rat body just isn't doing much. All right. Vile's going to one. Vile's on two. Draw Swarm Yard. God damn it. And Fatal Push. Oh, that's awful. All right. Well, now I wish I had the rat still in play, but couldn't have known that, obviously. You're going to be in Columbus? Who, who's, your, who's your squad, Dan? Yeah, I'll be in South, South Carolina, so we're going to get home Monday. So we have like Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, we can do it. A little cubage. Have you gotten to cube too much? They're not activating the creeping tar pit. Okay. They're just coming in. And there's raw dog and attached scratch activation, sure. Drown of a lock or snapcaster mage? Alright, they can have snapcaster mage, I think. Otherwise, I just go land and drown to kill my uh, my Dark Confidant. Yeah, we can't. I mean, they get to snack after it anyway, but whatever. Maybe we draw a discard spell or something. We do mulligan to four of this game. Just gonna throw that out there casually. We get a land and a Typhoid Rats. God... I cannot select the proper option on Aether Vial. I want them both on two most of the time, but every once in a while we want it on... We only have one one drop in our entire deck, and I just drew it, obviously. And sneaking it into play would have been pretty sweet. Um, so maybe I should have left it on one, but... We're going to work on the deck. I have some ideas. So if those who don't know how your deck live works, after we play five matches... I rebuild the deck to what I think is optimal. And my, my brain's churning here. We got some ideas. We got some ideas. We're definitely going to look at all the legal rats. That's for sure. That's for sure. I think we want to be more of a creature deck. That's my thoughts. All right. Well, now I got to get a snap guess. I made to kill my thing, which sucks. What's up, easy mode? Do I have a lock to kill my Dark Confidant? Uh, okay. And they could have push here. I'm going to go for the regen anyway. It's a bold attack. It's a bold attack. So I want to save his fatal push for uh, 
tar pit, but even then, like, it's pretty hard to, to kill it with no revolt. I'm sorry, it, gets, it costs zero. I'm, I, I thought it cost three because it activates for three. I'm being dumb. Yeah, gotta say this push for the creeping tar pit. Tassiker's back. Ready for round two. Ready for round two? Uh, I'm not sure what we're drawing to here. I'd say our Aether Vials are also not particularly great. Always no, always no auto yield. What's up, easy mode? We could say it was selected. Yeah, these card, this card is just terrible in this deck. Um, this card is just not. This is the wrong theme to go if we're trying to be like a rap beatdown deck. And now we have five cards in the graveyard. We gotta focus more on one thing. I think this card only works if you are hellbent on discarding every card in your opponent's hand and making them hellbent. I made it funny. Um, attack? No. Did you feel the ruin? Crap. My swarm yard. My swarm yard. We did all get a four of this game. I'm gonna keep, keep saying that until the game is over. It wasn't bad, honestly. The problem is they're just gonna enter the story and win the game. Uh, that's that's the problem. Yeah. Let me just make it mad. They are close to playing retail, but they're not gonna need to. I guess I don't want to kill this Tassiker now, because then, the, then the, the end of the story goes off, so we'll just let this go to their turn. Activating Tassiker. Alright. Uh, they get back a Tassiker. Alright, I'm just going to go to the next game here. We're just dead. Alright. Uh, yeah. We need more Castle Lockthwains. We need more Castle Lockthwains. Castle Lockthwain Aether Vial is where where I'm I'm excited. That's what makes me excited about this deck. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna smooth things out here. I got some ideas. I got some ideas. All right. So obviously we mulligan to five to four that game, and that was not a, a great start for us. But um, Thoughtseize and Duress. Don't think you want Fatal Push. And then. Bring in Leyline against them. I mean, Leyline doesn't stop Drowned of a Lock like Rest in Peace would. Makes Snap worse, turns off Tassiger. Doesn't really do a ton, honestly. I don't know. What do y'all think? Dan, are you still here? What do you think? I don't mind Piper of a Swarm. It's an extra threat. Um, I like this member... The afflictions are pretty bad. Like, they certainly have ways to draw cards. Um, I'm also pretty off with the Basilisk Collar. Um, I like the extra discard. Um, A thing needle. Hmm. I guess we're doing this. I mean, maybe the like, a fatal push is better than the uh, the fourth affliction. Yeah, and we're gonna choose to play, and this can kill Snapcaster or the land. Um, all right, so it's ten ten one mana discard spells. Hmm. 21 lands. Yeah. Hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Yeah, I just don't think Leyland's worth it. It does some stuff. I don't know if it does enough stuff. We'll see what their deck looks like. Yeah, if it stopped the, the Drawn to Vlock and the End of a Story stuff, also, like, Rest in Peace, I'd be much more interested, but... Alright, let's do it.
Pack rat all day. Keeping seven. Suck it, nerd. All right. Tee him up. Let's see what we're up against. Torrential Gear Oak. Their hand is a Lightning Bolt, Snapcaster Mage, End of a Story, End of a Story, Two Lands, Gear Hulk. Wow, that's a card. That's a card. I mean, that's, that's a hand. All right. Uh, and we'll just take Bolt and we'll take Snap. And we'll just play Pack Rat and probably kill them. So take the Bolt. Say go. Mystic Sanctuary tapped. Powerful opening. Burglar Rat. Alright, we're Pack Ratting. Next turn, we'll thought see Snapcaster Mage. Please don't draw a kill spell for Pack Rat. We're running a little bit of a risk here, but it takes far too long, I think, to protect the Pack Rat. And I drew a kill spell. What a bastard. No? Basically. <laughs> Explosives on two, eh? Uh, yeah. Thought sees you. And they drew Coligan's command, too. They can't, but they can't cast literally anything. Uh, well, that sucks. I guess it's Coligan's command. As if we discard Snapcaster Mage, they're just gonna draw Coligan's command and get it back anyway. Alright. That's pretty gross. Uh, I guess we're playing Typhoid Rats. Sanity Nars. Creature, rat, target opponent, discards a at random. Three mana's a lot. Three mana's a lot. Alright, well, they're, uh, they're mana screwed. And we're attacking for... Ah, oh, I should put the burglar rat first. I screwed up. I thought, actually, I'm sorry. If I put the rat first, I should pop explosives anyway, so... All right, cool. All right, I mean... I guess we'll do our worst here. Taste my burglar rat. Goodbye, Torrential Gear Hulk. Thought Scour targeting me. They had a pack rat too, that sucks. They're working their way up to the end of the story. What's up, Marty? Nizumi Short Fang, alright. Ship it. Into the story. Drown the lock, my short thing. What a jerk. What a jerk. Rotting rats, strictly better than burglar rat. Rotting rats means I discard also. Uh, I would say that is not strictly better. It's a playable card. I've played it before, but most certainly not strictly better. All right, I mean, we got some 1-1s. One no worries. All right, so they're mana screwed, and we're attacking with 1-1s. One this is the way magic is supposed to be played. Always no auto yields, no. Pack rat, duress. What a normal game of modern. Just an average game. Ah, The Snapcaster Mage, raw dog, to block a 1-1. One -one. Thank you, Richard Garfield, for this gameplay experience. All right, well, we'll duress you. <laughs> uh, I cannot wait till my opponent dreadbores this burglar rat. I cannot wait. Creeping tar pit. All right. Mm. 
Maybe it's better just to hold that, honestly. And that can be a, a pack rat fodder instead of the swamp. Thought Scour targeting me. Why me? My, my graveyard's already full. Eight more turns. Oh my god, they play Tassiger. Uh-oh. Uh, I think we're in trouble. <sighs> Their hand is Dribbor, Dribbor, end of a story, end of a story. If they draw one land, uh, you probably can't win. Goodbye, Dribbor. Go get him, Burnsy. Could be worse, I suppose. Bobby, Bobby, no, <laughs> what is this game, cryptic command, oh god, um, I guess we have vials, we'll just take into the story. Maybe get lucky and draw another duress before they can cast into the story. Ah, oh, they drew a land. This is not fair. This is unfair. I call shenanigans. Brutal. One turn. If we just had one more turn of them missing a land drop. Their hand is Cryptic, Cryptic, Dreadboard, Drown the Lock. And Field of Ruin. Oh, uh, boy. All right. Uh, so that's kind of what I was saying about uh, overall power level. Uh, Ravenous Rats and Burglar Rat are uh, slightly anemic. You know, they're not really... Not really doing too much. I mean, I think we just say go. The rent's Dreadbore, Cryptic Command, Crypt Cryptic Command. Activate Tassiger. You can have... Everything's bad. I guess force of negation? Frexian Arena is cool, but... Pat, thanks for the resub. Appreciate that. Again, sorry the alerts aren't working. Um... This Star Confidant could actually sneak in on their end step and maybe draw us a card. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Oh, God. All right. I don't want to play anymore. We're dead. All right. Um. Yeah. That was pretty brutal. So, yeah. The, the problem is that, like, again, I, I think that Ravenous Rats, Burglar Rat are just far below the curve power level wise and we're not really utilizing the bodies very well so we're just kind of playing the card as printed and for a synergy deck we can't really do that we gotta make better use of it um what is that better use not sure i mean like you could put like obelisk of erd kind of a cool card to pump off all, all our rats uh we could do things like plague crafter to sacrifice them try and make use of them being a creature but 
Power level wise, we're just running a little below the bar here. Yagmoth is interesting. That's a pretty cool one. Um, I mean, Cavern of Souls doesn't really do much for us. I don't think that people are going to be countering our, our Ravenous Rats, you know? Um, I think the best cards in this deck right now are Castle Lockman and Aether Vial. Those are the cards that really excite me. And Pack Rat. Pack Rat's obviously been very, very good. Every game we draw on Pack Rat is a game we've actually had like a significant threat in play, which has been pretty good. Uh, we're 1 and 3. We're 1 and 3. Um. I think we're actually a little heavy on the one mana discard spells and the afflictions. We just need more creatures. Um, the idea of Yagmoth is pretty cool, though. I kind of like that. Coat of Arms is just a lot worse than uh, than Obelisk Verd, I think. We would need more one drops by Obelisk Verd, but... But Castle Lockwain is really good. So... Opponent Mulligans, uh, I mean, <laughs> I guess we keep, Opponent Mulligans the five? Oh yeah. Where are my Ravenous Rats at? Give me them Ravenous Rats. Wooded Foot Hills. Shriekhorn. No! Don't give me ravenous rats. No ravenous rats, please. They mail a conflagrate. Okay. They mail a prized amalgam. All right. No dredging yet. Typhoid rats all day. Nizumi short fang. So I think we're gonna try and bait out the conflagrate and then slam it with the double afflictions. And hope we don't have life from alone because we can't beat life from alone ever. Like, there's just so many cards in modern that just invalidate the discard all your cards aspect of Shrieking Affliction. Like, our last opponent had Into the Story, our one opponent had Risen Reef, this opponent has life from alone, you know? So, like, it's just not a viable path unless you're 100% 8 racking. Obviously, we need ley lines, but. Adaptive Automaton, that's charged not powerful enough. Cycle Cave, okay. No Loam, please. Alright, they, they break pretty hard on their uh, Shriek Horror. No Dredge cards yet. Ah, crap. Cathartic, discarding Thug and Stinkweed him. Okay. Triple Creeping Chill. I mean, they bricked on returning something. That's kind of cool. And they hit zero loams. We uh, we can't short fang them. Pack rat's nice. That's a good. That's a good. Uh, good place to be. Okay. The problem is they just have conflagrate, so that just kills everything. I mean, they pitched their whole hand to conflagrate. We played double double affliction. There's like they're, the problem is they're 23 up their creeping chills. So like, we're just dying over here. Right, we're gonna hold the afflictions, and we're gonna play back rat, and we're gonna see if we can get them to empty their hand, I guess, and maybe get them with the afflictions. They dredge think we'd imp. We are very lucky they haven't hit a life from alone yet. 
There's one life Malone and the game's basically over. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta leyline them, obviously. Say la vie. So hopefully they screw up here and I don't know they can screw up. Two one one, yeah, it doesn't. So uh, even if we activate meat evolve, this still dies. So all right, they got zero cards in hand. Now it's time to give them the double affliction and pray. That's not gonna work though. They have life alone. Never mind. Uh, whatever. Yeah, about that life, Malone. I mean, they want to play a land for blood gas. That's one card down, I guess. Uh oh, that was a pretty good dredge. All right, we're going to the next game. Obviously, not a great matchup for the uh, for the discard deck. The old dredge geese. Glad we added those uh, Leyline of the Voids. So what's Mulligan till we have Leyline? And then let's bring in our discard spells so we can uh, we can uh, snipe their you know Nature Slam or whatever. So these are in. I think Piper's in, and all of these are in. And honestly, all of the Burglar Rats and things are just really really bad against them. Uh. I guess the removal spells are also pretty bad. Shrieking Affliction. I guess Short Fang's pretty bad, too. Alright. Um, I think Collar is better than some of the cards we have. You know, like... We're no longer really a rat deck anymore. Um... But we are a lay line of the void deck through and through. We're a white screen of death deck. Chico, new sub, what's the name where you're from? Welcome, my friend. Short Fang, better than Affliction. It's harder to interact with. Short Fang's pretty bad, like, it's basically just like, we'll just get Leyline down, and then kill them with Pack Rat. Jerry from Indiana says, thanks for the great content, all subbed on YouTube. Thanks, Jerry, appreciate it. Happy to have you. Love my YouTube folks. Happy New Year. Oh, yeah. There we go. The Nuts. And by nuts, I mean lay one of the void and thought cease. Pawn and mulligan's the six. Pawn and mulligan's the five. Pawn and mulligan's the four. Pawn and mulligan's the three. Oh, modern. And you got three cards, huh? I'm gonna blackmail you. Nature's Claim, Life Malone, Forgotten Cave. Nice. Nice. You know who's going all the way here? My little friend named Typhoid Rat. Shrieking Affliction. They have two cards in hand. Okay, here we go. Typhoid Rat. Go get him, buddy. Five. 
Feel the power of typhoid rats. They drew Copper Line Gorge, so they can kind of like play some spells, maybe. Maybe not, maybe, maybe not. Why are they still playing this game? Well, our clock isn't exactly impressive. All right, now it's impressive. Uh, Dark Confidant certainly shores things up here a little bit. Your turn. You can go now. Swamp. Uh, Chico, what championship? Oh, the hockey championship? Thank you. I played hockey yesterday. Fun little open skate. I scored four goals. Obviously, we scored. Everyone scored a million goals. We were just players kind of shooting around, but we were playing like we played like we played like maybe seven periods of hockey. We just kept like putting the period counter at twenty minutes, hitting start, playing a period, stopping, taking a break, keeping score, and stuff. It was fun. It's a lot of fun. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Just, what's better than one lay out of the void? Two. I mean, total goal scored in the two hours we played was like, you know, a hundred maybe. So, four goals is not as impressive as it sounds. But, you know, the score of every period was like maybe eight to six. We were playing four on four. It's like a loose, fun open skate. We won. Yeah, we'll skip that part. We'll skip that part. All right, uh, let's do that again. Let's do that again. Unfortunately, not a very uh, useful match here in the last match for figuring out what our deck does because it's literally just mulligan to lay one of the void, which is not particularly very fun, but what are you going to do? It's modern, you know? Keep or mulligan, modern. Keep or mulligan, modern. Take that question as you will. Keep or mulligan, modern. This is also some dis synergy too. Um, I think we're playing far too many discard spells. We have Aether Vial. Like, I think this is also a hand of the week, actually. This is a pretty funny one. Two Aether Vials, no creatures, four, four sorceries. Uh, mulligan. Point of Mulligan, six. Uh-oh. We're going to go... We're going to Mulligan until we, until we, until we have a Layla... Lay, lay, we're going to mulligan until we have a ley line of the void in our hand. Bottom along to five. We go to five. Uh I might retract my prior statement. Let's see if they go to four or not. They go to four. We're currently on five. We have Leyline, no land. If we have like an Aether Vial or something, I'd be much more excited about it. They seem to have shown uh, that they're willing to mulligan down very, very low to find a Nature's Claim. So they have a claim here. We just, we just get browned. And we have nothing. We need to draw two lands before our hand does actual anything. Um. The good news is if they have an Assassin's Trophy, at least we can cast spells. We're still going to lose, though. Deothar, it's up to you, my friend. This is your Eurodeck Live. This is the last game of the match, or last game of the thing. What would you like to do, Deothar? Would you like to mulligan or keep here? Would you like to mulligan to four? Or to keep this hand. I'll leave it up to you, my friend. If you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. This is a Your Deck Live. This is Diothar's Modern Rat Deck. We're gonna work on this deck. I think we've I think I've I've seen enough now where I have a good idea of where I want to go with this. Um the, there's certainly some good stuff happening in this deck. There's some some 
counterproductive things too. But what do you think, Theo? Keep? All right, we're keeping it. And we're going to put a... Uh, Probably like, what do they mulligan to? They mulligan to five. They mulligan to four. Um, do we ship? I agree. It's probably Piper. And then the thing is that like they're on four cards. Pack rat's not even good. I might discard a rat. I think if um, if they're on four cards on the play, it's going to be hard for them to actually do stuff and not empty their hand, barring life Malone. So the afflictions might just kill them. Yeah, we're just going to cheese them out. And then we have Bob and Pack Rat. Pack Rat can make more rats anyway. So, so opponent's on four. We're on five. We have no lands that they're on the play. Peak modern right here. Peak modern. Just draw Swamp and then Muta Vault. That's a good plan. I like that plan. How about we draw Urborg instead? Urborg, Muta Vault. All right. Here we go. They've got four cards. They go Foothills. They sack it. They had the claim. They have two cards in hand. Are those two cards functional? And will we draw a land? No. Kogari Thug. Playing Thug is kind of weird, honestly. Like, why not just keep it to discard to a cathartic or something, you know? Up, oh, they have Lum. They drew Lum. We're in trouble. So now our afflictions are worthless. I think we're dead, folks. Definitely don't like these pauses on my upkeep. I'd like to just draw my card and see if it's a land or not. We did it! They dredge loam and hit Shriekhorn Stinkweed Imp. Loam back, Wooded Foothills, Arid Mesa. And they're not playing a land? It's interesting. Why would they not play a land when they have Loam? Mm. Ah, Black Magic. I'll do that next turn. Delirious Mango, resub. Thank you so much. Alright, that's a better dredge. Uh, Narcomiba and Prize Amalgam. Now they have a clock. And now I don't think it matters if we draw a land or not. There are 13, I suppose. All right, so let's try this. We're going to close our eyes, and when I open them, there's going to be a swamp there. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I think we're I think we're past the point of mattering anymore. They dredge another amalgam. Twenty twenty is off to a bad start. Nah, we're having fun. We're having fun. We're gonna fix this deck up real fast. Don't you worry.
What's up, schedule after this? We have uh, two more Your Deck Lives to do, including a double dip. Our next deck is Pioneer Loxobots. And then our next deck is Grixis Fevered Visions in Pioneer. That's a double dip. So we're going to play the deck, fix it, and then play it again. Yes! So, I think if we draw a land, we can get some big pack rats in play. Maybe we have a chance to win this game. Like a backdoor, backdoor chance. We go to 11, we untap and draw land. We get to go make a make a rat, vile a rat. I have three three threes. And then next turn, we have even more than that, so... Not saying it's likely, but saying, so you're saying there's a chance. Loam, sure. Why not fetch first? I don't know what they're doing, honestly, but. And they're not going to trade Golgari Thug with my pack rat. Okay. They're giving us some chances here, my friends. They're gonna if they're gonna be uh, giving us a little you know a little an inch here and an inch there maybe we can pull back in here. Another hockey championship that would be nice. I am missing my first game of the next season on Sunday. I'll, I'll be in South Carolina, but that's okay. Easy mode. Easy mode. Your deck live, damn my friends. We're a little backed up in the Your Deck Live queue because of the holidays, but easy mode. Hop in the Discord, we'll discuss it. All right, thanks, easy mode. Appreciate that, you the bomb. All right, so draw step land. Need we need his land? God. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Um. I guess Bob can chump block the prized amalgam. We'll just cast a pack rat and attack for two. We don't really care if the thug dies because nothing here in their graveyard matters too much. Swing by in North Carolina. If I was driving, I honestly might take you up on that, but I'm flying this time, so. Got a really, uh, really cheap flight with my Delta Sky Miles, which is very hard to do usually. So, uh, we're we're about to be one and four. I mean, if you win this match somehow, we'll be we'll be uh, we'll be two and three. This game is definitely winnable. I mean, they're not doing much. All right, well now now they just hit a, hit a cave with their so they can loan back cave. That's bad. No, they're hard casting Stinkweed him. All right, our opponent is not playing optimally, which means he might have a chance to win. Nah, maybe not. Yeah, they just have too much stuff now. We'll see. We'll see. All right, so we're just gonna have a chump block with a with a dark confidant here. I mean, we could we can't we can't take it and try and draw land with Bob. We should draw land naturally, I think. So I go to eight with a Bob in play, and they have multiple flyers. It just seems ridiculous. We should have naturally draw land. Best chance to win is drawing a land here. Need that land. Need it bad. Come on. It is turn eight, you know. Just gonna throw that out there. Um. I mean, we have 4-4 four, four pack rats now. There's always that. So we can, like, dredge loam. They can get back a Forgotten Cave. They can dredge Stinkweed Imp. Rats, 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 rats. Yeah, 
Yes, I will activate my Vita Vault to pump. That's why I said they're four fours. Loam back, two lands, sure. Why rats? First off, why not rats? All right, come on. Second off, this is a Your Deck Live, a show where I play Your Deck Live on stream. This is Diothar's Rat Discard Deck. It's our fifth match. We're almost done, and we're going to fix this deck up as we are wont to do on Your Deck Live. Oh, we got him. We got him, folks. They might have missed the pack rat interaction. Hopefully they just don't have an actual spell. Hopefully they screwed up. <clears throat> rats, 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 rats. <clears throat> Did they have anything, we're dead anyway, so... It's not like we're risking much by blocking. I'm going for the block. Alright. Uh, we got a ways to go here. That's okay. That's okay. They're at 12. Don't reveal low out of the void. God, these shrieking afflictions. Teres, why can't we draw land? <laughs> ah! Uh... Look at our hand. What are we doing with our lives? We need to make more rats. Is there any purpose in duressing them? I guess we're it's better than doing nothing. Like I guess Inquisition's actually better. Nope, they have all ends. I probably should have known that. But I've not been tracking their hand. Alright. Um they have to attack with a couple flying creatures. Let me just leave Bob and Blood. We could attack with Bob and try and trade it with the Sink Meat Imp, but. Oh boy. Oh boy, what a game. That is a lot of prized amalgams. Psycho Forgotten Cave, yeah. Dredge, Creeping Chill, Narc Amiibo, all the prize amalgams are back. I think that's the end, folks. This is turn 10. And in the end... Alright. Uh, not, not a pretty league. Not a pretty league. But I think we've identified a lot of the problems with the deck. Which is good. Because now we're going to work on it. I mean, they weren't flooded in the traditional sense. All those lands are from Life from Alone. So it's not like they drew all those lands. They just loam them all back. So 1-4 is not ideal, but I think we've done a good job of identifying the issues with this deck. So the big things are overall power level and then the discardy stuff just not being pretty. So things that were good, Aether Vial, Castle Lockthwain. I want 4 Aether Vial, 4 Castle Lockthwain. It's not even close. Aether Vial, Castle Lockthwain, Dark Confidant, and Pack Rat were like the deck. The deck. For sure. Um, so we gotta figure out what's gonna go around that to make that work. Let's take a quick look at all the rats in the format. Is that cool with everyone? They've been rat. Alright. Drain Pipe Vermin. Nat Miser. Burglar Rat, Graph Rats, some Nizumi stuff, Piper, Rat Colony, um, Rotting Rats, that's not a rat, that's a Wrathy Trooper, uh, Thriving Rats, Skull Snatcher, not a, not a great selection of rats, honestly, 
Crypt Rats Swarm Yard. I don't think Crypt Rats is legal in uh, modern. Oh, wait. We got to go uh, quantity zero here. I don't own all of the rats. We missed some. Nizumi Shadow Watcher. Destroy target ninja. I've seen better. I've seen better. Uh, so, Typoid Rats. Graph Rats. Nizumi Bone Reader. It's actually kind of a cute card, but you can like you can sack your uh, your ravenous rats and make them discard again. But that's super, that's just like pretty bad, you know. We're looking for higher card quality here. Um, Swarm of rats is just rat colony, right? Wow, look at this. Comp you want to see power creep in action? Holy crap! Swarm of rats. Two mana for an X1. Its power is equal to the number of rats you control. Rat colony. Two mana for a 2 1. Gets plus 1 plus 1 for each other rat you control. And you can play as many as you want to. Alright. Um, oh, Crypt Rats for Modern Horizons? I don't think this card benefits our deck in any way, though. Um, unless we have Swarm Yard. Like, this just kills all our stuff. Yeah, that, that, that card's not going to work. Uh, I mean, Chittering Rats is, like, kind of a cool card. I'm a, I'm a Chittering Rats fan. There are a lot of good rats, honestly. Yeah, the rat the rat pool of cards is pretty bad here. Um, Sanity Nars. Target player discards a card at random. Um... Uh, Tutoring Witch. Loki. Man, they, man, there really is not a lot of, uh, not a lot of rat support here. Hellhole Rats. This card's pretty cool. But, um, I don't think Pack Rat would be good in an 8-rack eight, eight shell. Like, I think in the 8-rack deck, you have to have literally every card in your deck focused towards being an 8-rack card. Um, Ink Eyes. Rat Catcher. Patron of the Nizumi. Remember, permanence put into opponent's graveyard. That player loses one life. Rat Offering. So seven down to five is not very good. Soul Spike. Hmm. Ogre Slumlord. All the rat payoffs are just like so expensive. Keep getting Shinobi is not like the worst ma worst magic card ever printed. Yeah, we're uh we're really reaching here for playable rats. Um, but I think that let's see here. Shinobi rats is certainly playable. Um, and I think that if we make the body on Ravenous Rat better, I think that we can play them. Um. Yes, I will look at changelings in a second. Um, I mean, Shinobi's kind of cool. It's more of like a cyborg card, probably, if we were to play that. It seems pretty bad against a lot of things. All right, let's look at changelings. I mean, changeling outclass, outcast is pretty bad. This... The Automaton is just worse than the other rats. Name motion version, skeletal changeling. Unsettled Mariner is really good, but like it obviously doesn't really work. Grave Shifter. Yeah, all these cards are pretty bad. Um, Metallic Mimic is okay. I mean, it's not like a particularly good card. Uh, honestly, Icon of Ancestry is okay. Icon also plays very well with Aether Vial, and it's a good preemptive answer to, uh, to, uh, a Plague Engineer. I could maybe buy Icon. And the Metallic Mimic... I mean, Mimic might be necessary. Pax Disdain. Ashes of the Fallen. Probably want Plague Engineer on the sideboard. 
Radiant Destiny. Bad is Bad Moon legal? Brass Herald. Goblin ringleader for uh for rats. And Bad Moon just bad because it pumps their stuff too, right? Bad Moon is legal in modern, apparently. What set is it in? Is it in like Alright, it was in modern no. Oh, it's in Time Spiral. Ah. That's interesting. But yeah, definitely not uh Definitely not good enough. Because it can pump their creatures also and just isn't it's not good enough. Alright, so Bad Moon seems just that. I like Piper of a Swarm, also. Piper also plays good with Vile because it gives you things to do with your mana. I we gotta play a lot more lands in this deck. So let's um let's get her. The collar's gone. The afflictions are gone. Um I don't want this many discard spells, honestly. I don't even know if I want any of them. Because, like, the problem with playing an Aether Vile deck with only 19 creatures is you're not going to be Viling enough, you know? Um, I think we're going to keep the Typhoid Rats, even though they're pretty underpowered. Uh, we have Burglar Rats, Confidant. Short Fang is questionable. Pack Rat, Ravenous Rats. Two Dismember, two Fatal Push is kind of reasonable. Uh, I guess we need some discard spells. My coat of arms is just like not really good enough. Piper of the Swarm. Let's play like two of this card. I think Chittering Rats. I think we want to keep all of our stuff at two mana so our vial always stays on two. So I don't really want that. Um, Rankle is good, honestly, because Rankle makes our Ravenous Rats also kind of worthwhile. Um, I don't know if we can play Obelisk of Erd. I do like that card a lot, actually. a six mana artifact with convoke and it gives all your creature types plus two plus two which is quite good um but we're not playing any one drops so like tapping two two drops and tapping four mana for obelisk of Erd feels pretty awkward um icon of ancestry and mimic the mimic are probably just better i'm also not really down with the short fangs either uh, just too much mana, I think. I don't know. It's, like, kind of cool, but... What's up, True? How's it going, my friend? Happy to have you. Paragon of Open Graves? Isn't that, like, a 2-2 two -two for 4? Yeah, having some way to sack... I kind of like the Rankle, actually. I kind of like the Rankle idea. Um, this icon can't hit Mimic, but that's fine. I guess we just don't play any discard. We like just play like three Thoughtseize. No Inquisitions. This is still way too many cards. Um, I maybe the Burglar Rats just aren't good. Um. It becomes the creature type, but it's it's not the creature type in your when you're looking at it with with icon of ancestry. I don't think us discarding cards is beneficial, so I think the the, the unearthed rat is worse. I'm just gonna play push, play dismember. I don't think these short things are going to stick out, stick around. I want to add a bunch of lands, though. I want to add, like, Castle Lockthwain, Castle Lockthwain. That's probably it. I think 23 lands is actually great. Um, we can always pitch lands to to um, to Pack Rat anyway. On Earth is not very good. Maybe the Mimic isn't very good either. I mean, it's good with Aether Vial, but... I think the big question is, are these are these cards even playable? Like, what if we just played 4 Piper, 4 Mimic, 3 Icon, and just didn't play the, the crappy Ravenous Rats? True! 
new sub watch anyway from welcome my friend that's the the problem is that this card just isn't on this card isn't even on a standard level power level like Burglar Rat hasn't been played in standard essentially at all. There's like that one like black white deck with like charming prints and stuff that's like not very good. But like the magic has, has far surpassed the power level of Ravenous Rats. If we just don't play this card anymore. Um God Eternal Bantu. Eh, I think Rankle's better. So if we if we cut these, which I know is maybe this might be straying too far from Deothar's initial vision original original vision, but Play four Pipers and four Mimics. Rankle, Icon. I mean, now we only have 23 creatures still. I mean, now maybe Short Fang's worth it. Um, but now we're not making them discard at all. Yeah, Short Fang's just pretty mopey. Um... There's just, like, no good one-drops either. There's just no good one-drop rat, which really kind of sucks. I do like Rankle. And four thought sees two dismembers a lot of damage too. Maybe just play three. Mm. Alright, new sub is John from Florida. Playing since Gate Crash. Uh, favorite card of all time. Depends on the format. Spell Queller. Favorite deck of all time. Spanned Spirits. And mid range from Winter 2018. Awesome. John, thanks for sub. Appreciate that. Do Urborg. All right, sideboard. Duress thoughts. He's noxious grass play line. No needles. Uh, yeah, Okibi Gang Shinobi is just not really good enough. Um, collect the brutality in the board for sure. Uh, I want more other plague engineer. You want, to, you want to do your own your deck live, but don't have the main deck 100% settled, how should you do it? Um, I mean, if your deck isn't, like, done, you want me to build it for you, that would be a, a a brew. But if you just, like, have a card you're not sure about, just submit it, and then we'll talk on Discord. Rancid Rats? What is Rancid Rats? No. Power level is, is, is a concern, my friends. All right, so... I think if I were to play Rats in Modern, I'd probably want to do it something like this. Um, I'm not thrilled we're still playing Burglar Rat. Unfortunately, the, the the in 16 years of Modern Magic Arts, there just aren't that many benefits for playing a bunch of Rats in your deck, uh, besides Pack Rat. But Piper's pretty cool, uh, Mimic is fine, Icon's fine. Do you keep duress over the fourth thoughtsies or Inquisition? We have the fourth thoughtsies. And yes, duress over Inquisition. I mean Maranar is just not a good magic card. Like. So we're playing more creatures now. We have Icon as a mana sink. Um three thoughtsies, two dismember for spells, otherwise we're all vials and creatures. Um we're maximizing the best parts of our deck, which is Castle Lockthwain, Aether Vial, Dark Confidant, and Pack Rat. Um, Icon helps our bad creatures be a little better. 
Um, New Zimmy Short Fang's pretty bad. It's just super mad intensive and super weak, honestly. Um, Piper plus Mimic is kind of cool. Pay two, make it two two. It's not bad. Um, the deck is certainly fragile, but Pack Ride is really good. I mean, maybe we're a little too light on discard now, so we're a little too fragile. You could go like cut an icon, put the four thought seas main, maybe. Or even split like two Inquisition, two thought seas. Maybe do you want a little more discard? Targeted discard. Maybe go like this. Um. But yeah, I think this is where I would go. Um, I know it's pretty different than the original list, but I don't think trying to meld 8-rack with the rat stuff is a good idea. The 8-rack cards don't work unless you're 100% in on the 8-rack cards. You know, a, you, you can't play Shrieking Affliction without playing 4-racks. It's sort of like Burn. You can't play Lava Spike unless you're also playing Rift Bolt, Lightning Bolt, and all these other cards that do the same thing. Uh, the critical mass is necessary to make the the sum be more than the parts um the eight rack cards are the same way you just can't play streaking affliction unless you're playing the rack also so um if you want to play a rat deck i think this is how i would do it um i'm still not happy we're playing burglar rat oh yagma that's the car we wanted yeah 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 i think that's better yagma is the car we definitely want you're totally correct i mentioned that earlier and forgot about it i think yagma is better than rankle i think they're better at different things. Um, this also costs life. Hmm. I mean, now we're playing less fodder, though. Works well with Mimic. Uh, why? Oh, for sure. I mean, if you're just playing Aether Vial and Creatures, or maybe, and, and or Company... I agree. You can just definitely just you can definitely just win some games. Um, oh, it, the, the proliferator part. That's pretty cool. Okay, so what's better, Rankle or Yagmoth? Probably Yagmoth. I mean, Rankle seems good at killing your opponent's big creatures and planeswalkers. Yagmoth's better at drawing cards and killing small creatures. I agree Rankle has more reach, but Yagmoth just draws a bunch, of car a bunch of cards, too. I honestly don't know what's better. Well, well I'm going to leave it one and one, honestly. And then play... You would need to play to figure out which which card is better. I really don't know. Um, that's, a, that's a very difficult question to answer. Um, do you dismember? I think these grasps become pushes also, actually. Grass, grass, push. Maybe it's the Agmoth. I'm not even sure, honestly. Uh, you can't feel the Ruin if you're, if you're playing Mutavolt and Swarm Yard. And this deck can, can possibly beat Tron. You just thought sees them and stuff, you know? I mean, you can't beat everything, you know? You can't beat everything. Um, so, this is where I would stop. So, Deothar, um, I know it's a little different, different than the original Vision, but I think if you want to play Rats in Modern, this is probably close to the best way to do it. Again, figuring out which card is better, um, Yagmoth or Rankle, is is tough. True, new sub. What's your name? Welcome, my friend. Um, yeah, Rankle might be better. Rankle might be better. But Yagmoth's pretty good, too. I'm not sure, honestly. I'm really not sure. But... Deothar, I hope you enjoyed your, 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 your deck live. I'm sorry I uh, we can't run a little hotter for these, but um, thank you so much, my friend. Any questions, comments, concerns, I'd be happy to answer them in chat. You want to rat people, this is how I would do it. So I will put the updated list into the uh, into our Discord. Let me know what you think. If you go with Yagmoth, you can call the deck Yagmoth and his Lab Rats. That's not bad. That's not bad. So, deal with our questions, comments, let me know. Otherwise, that's going to do it for this episode of Your Deck Live. There's more stream to go. We have tons more magic to play today. But YouTube folks, that's it. Our time is over. So, 
Like, comment, subscribe. Please, please take three seconds to do that. It helps me out so much. And Happy New Year, YouTube. I love you.